It's the most exciting time of the year for gamers because the annual gaming conference E3 is taking place. And this year it's going to be hard to upstage because last year we saw unveiled Xbox One and PS4. So this year's theme is all about hot new games but also new ways to game entirely. But let's start out with that, a brand new hot game. This one here you see right below me, the Skylanders franchise from Activision. Brand new is Skylanders Trap Team. Now Skylanders is known for bringing toys to life in the game. Now with Trap Team, it reverses that, bringing toys out of the digital world and into the physical world with a brand new portal. It's very cool because you can capture villains inside this new trap, bring them into the game and turn them into good guys. And you're seeing a little sneak peek because this baby is not going to be out until October 5th with all new characters and parents are going to be happy because it's backwards compatible with all the Skylanders games and figurines that you previously had. So Skylanders Trap Team coming out in October from Activision. Next up, let's talk about new ways to game entirely. This baby here, this is Mojo from Mad Cats. You may be looking at it saying, well, that's a little small. It's actually a micro console, and it's micro console because of its size. It's almost like the size of two decks of cards. And what's neat is it's known for really just playing Android games. So from Grand Theft Auto to Angry Birds, it's got you covered there, but it's also a media hub. So it's going to hook you up with Netflix. It's going to hook you up with Hulu. If you want to play, bring in your apps, bring in their media, bring in your, or just do some gaming. Mojo from Mad Cats got you hooked up. We saw a sneak peek at this last year at E3. Now it's available for $200. It also has got a Bluetooth controller and HDMI cable that's going to come with it and the capability to showcase select content in 4K. Pretty unbelievable. Again, Mojo from Mad Cats. And last but not least, we can't talk about gaming this year without talking about virtual reality. And when it comes to virtual reality, we have to talk Oculus Rift. Making big headlines this year, Oculus Rift actually sold to Facebook for $2 billion. And the virtual gaming headset actually was neat. I, the first time I put it on, I was actually sitting on a Navy ship and I got so into it that I got seasick. So the content, as you can imagine, it's, it's very immersive. Well, there's companies out there like Real Effects actually creating content that allow you to put yourself inside a concert, reenact scenes from a blockbuster film, or get this, you can even go into a vehicle and check it out from the interior to the exterior before purchasing it. So stay tuned to companies like Real Effects creating content for Oculus Rift. Head on over to dailylounge.com for more information. I'm Katie Linendahl, and gamers, stay tuned. It's going to be an exciting year.